This is The Blitz, Friday Night High School Football, sponsored by Sonic. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to week six of the Blitz here on KLBK. I'm KLBK Sports Director Ariel Schaefer. Now, high school football is flying by as we speak. Now, many called this week the bye week blues. However, there is still a lot of huge games tonight in the area to have huge playoff indications, which is hard to believe considering how early it is in district play. And speaking of playoff seeding, a lot right on this game as the Coronado Mustangs are on the road at the Lubbock Cooper Pirates for our week six game of the week. Now it's going to be a slow start for Lubbock Cooper's offense this evening, but it's going to be a battle of the defenses like we talked early on. Big tackle by LCP's Cutter Douglas in the first quarter. We talked about the, the Cooper secondary, how good it was going to be. Now Mustang defense also came out hot in the gates tonight. Fourth and goal for the Pirates. Tyle Spruill throws it right to the field, picked off by the Mustang defense. It's going the other way. Now trick play action here. Can't believe I saw this in person. Jack Carroll over to Russell Dills. Dills back to Carroll. Trucks pass for the Pirates defense for the first touchdown of the game. Holy mackerel. We have a good one here. Mustangs on the board. Finally 7-0. And it came down, guys, to a 50-yard field goal. Five seconds left from the Lower Cooper Pirates. And they are going to win this final score. Love Cooper 15 Coronado 14 and what an exciting game. I can't believe what a score like that. And we're not going to take it over live to Pirate Stadium as KLBK sports reporter Lauren Gattrell is there live with Chip Darden. Lauren, how was the game? Yeah, hey, Ariel, I'm out here at Pirate Stadium where the Lubbock Cooper Pirates just defeated the Coronado Mustangs 15 to 14. And standing here with me is LCP head coach Chip Darden. Coach Darden, what a game for your guys. A field goal with five seconds left. What on earth was going through your head in those final seconds? That was wild. You know, our that whole second half, their defense got after us. We, we didn't uh, we, we didn't play real good on offense, but our defense kept us in it. We've got to keep saying that on the sideline. Keep, keep us in it. Keep us in it. we got a chance. <laughs> We got a chance, and uh, that, that's what you saw. Our guys did not quit. They they fought till the obviously the last second. Uh, just a fun one to be a part of. But that you know that's good for West Texas, and and I know on the other side. I mean, it's a heartbreak. That's the coach man is a is a friend of mine, and and it's tough. And it was it was just a little bit away from us feeling that way. But that, that's just two really good teams. I think that's you know we hope we're in the playoffs. I think Coronado's definitely a playoff team, and um, just just a fun one to be a part of. But uh, what a kick by Cub too. You know we we talked about it. Um, at halftime, he got one blocked right before half. And we talked about him. We're coming back to you. We're going to come right back to you, and you're ready. So, big kick. And you bring up those halftime conversations. You know, you guys were down going into the half, never seeing the end zone quite yet. What were those other conversations looking like, not just with the kicker, but with the whole team in general? Yeah, and, and I, you know, kind of said the offense didn't play great, but I thought they had a really big drive right there with about six minutes left to get it in. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we weren't, there wasn't a whole lot of yelling and screaming. We just, they were kind of getting after us, and it's just one of those games. It's a physical game. Game and they're they're a really good team and um, that, that's just that's how it goes sometimes and this district's going to be probably just like that every single night and uh, we just got to uh, what we've said all along is stay in the stay in the mix and, and be in it at the end and that's what we did tonight and finally tonight first district game first Eight, district win against a, quite a powerhouse of a team how proud are you of your guys yeah really proud uh, uh, again Coronado came out and hit us right in the mouth and just for our guys to stick with it and keep playing I, I just just so proud of them and every every win in general is big. It's hard to win football games, and especially in this district, it's tough. So we're really proud of them, and, and we got another tough one coming up next week. So we'll, we'll have fun tonight, and then uh, it's back to work tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Coach Ariel. Again, that final score coming out to 15-14. The Pirates take home their first district win, but I'm going to go ahead and toss it back to you. Thanks so much, Lauren. Wow, what a memorable game for the Lover Cooper Pirates. So don't go anywhere, guys, because second quarter of the Blitz is still yet to come. And we have our KLBK Spirit Squad of the Week featuring the Estacado Matador Cheer Squad. Hey there, ladies. It was the same atmosphere for them tonight. We'll have the highlights coming up next at the, after the break. Stay with us.